Salutations, I am Messi. Welcome once again to a Let's Play Crusader Kings 2. The aim of this series is, of course, to restore the Roman Empire using our custom house Vitellius. We're using the Ancient Religions Reborn mod, and using that, we are following the Titan cult, the Hellenic Heresy. Uh, at the end of the last episode, our wife died. Um, so, we're going to try and find ourselves a new wife now. In fact, I may have already done that at the last episode. I think I did, yeah. Let's see. Let's see if we get on. There we go. Um, we've got a shed load of prestige to go with that. So, that's good. Lay of Medina. That's because we're Medina. Durr. Wow, so we've actually done pretty well there. Okay, we did have an unsuccessful war to try and claim uh, Zagreb. <laughs> or Slovenia, but it didn't, it didn't go well at all. We ended up having to do white peace, which means I cannot use my subjugation cast spelly again. Lightning recently struck one of the trees on your residence. It was an otherwise clear day with nary a sign of cloud or rain. Uh, your soothsayers say this was clearly a sign from the gods, which they then interpreted as a good omen. The courtiers have already begun to treat the tree as a fanaticus, a thick tree blessed by the gods. Good to hear. Debating about maybe trying to take Venice. Venezia. Four hundred and seventeen, two hundred and seventy-eight. How We'll see. Maybe one of our descendants will take Venice. It's not a priority right now. My priority is to try and spread our religion so there's more people for us to marry. Every now and again, you pay homage to your family's lairs. Local guardian deities who have protected your dynasty since time immemorial. It's important you honor them with sacrifices and offerings 
but it may provide help in times of need. You approach the Aurarium, the shrine where the small statue of the La is placed. Salvi La Familiaris. Ten prestige, contain prestige. Let me in a dream, the king of the gods, Jupiter, appears before you. He sits on a throne, smiling as you supplicate before him and says, You are wise to show hospitality to me. You know as any immortal. You realize that the beggar you accepted into your abode was Jupiter in disguise. 250 piety. Oh, yes. Oh, give him. Victoria is pregnant. Good. Norius, you let me down. Um, come on, Gawley, give us another son. Junior, no, you will be called. Pay, basically Poppy. Uh, the Roman Empire actually started out as a republic, which is something we might look into. If you have been following my Game of Thrones series, you'll know I'm debating about trying to make the Valerian Empire a republic once I get my hands on it, if I get my hands on it. Um, I, I've never really played too much with the, the Republic system, so it'd be interesting for me to kind of have a, a go on it, but, um, yeah, the first emperor of Rome, although many consider it to be Julius Caesar, was in fact his nephew and adopted son. Augustus, who started off life under the name of Octavius. Octavius Caesar. Well, he wasn't a Caesar then. He became Caesar once he was adopted by Julius. Gaius Julius Caesar uh, adopted 
Gaius Octavius, who became Gaius Augustus Caesar, I believe. Unless I'm getting my history muddled up. Uh, he was born Gaius Octavius. Uh, his great uncle Julius Caesar was uh, assassinated and named him his adopted son and heir. The ancient Latins regarded the ancient hero Ulysses as nothing more than a coward who manipulated and deceived those around him. The ancient Hellens, on the other hand, who knew him as Odysseus, Odysseus, sorry, believed that his cunning was an admirable trait, showing his resourcefulness and wisdom. Yeah, we'll go with them. Victoria is pregnant once again, but our wife is not. She's only 26, there's so still time. can now be educated by such a shame that even if you take Rome the papacy still exists we should be able to destroy it Like us, even though we're pagan. Oh, aren't you nice? Oh. As soon as we've just been talking about Octavius. Octavianus shall be his name. Mm. Yeah, Octavianus will be his name. Better. Holy man. Let's, let's have a look into that.
So there we go, we've got plenty now. you to that intrigue Where are the holy sites? Oh my. It's going to take us a while to reform our religion. But we will do so eventually. Some suggested that I build some more Herma in the area, or in my residence. In olden days, the Herma were a rectangular column with the head of a deity on top, usually Hermes, and a phallus carved into the column. They said to bring good luck and fortune. Good idea. Make a move. It is good to be chief. Let's just hope she doesn't fall pregnant. Huzzah! Only one person has not given us a child yet. I'm disappointed in you, Jaroslava. I'm disappointed. Perhaps in time. Not near us yet, so I'm not going to shut the gates. Ah, uh, we'll grant them shelter. As evening falls, the fat merchant. Merchant sits by the fire and regales you in the court. 
the stories of his travels. His appetite seems insatiable as you, as you do not wish to pay for poor host, you order your servants to bring in a second serving. This unit will serve you well. Petrus. Getting there, Severina. Mm, no, your name is not Severina. Your name shall be Octavia. Oh, how I wish we could join you. <sighs> Fate smells upon me, my concubine is pregnant. This is good. Fifty-four, not a bad age. Let us restore our council. I cannot declare subjugation on you. Hello, my son. Hmm. Let's call him Tiberius. Good, strong name.
So that's 295 troops as opposed to our 322. What about you? And um, with that, guys, I'm going to end this episode. Nothing much has gone on, I know, but we'll see what happens in the future. Uh, hit the like button. Leave your comments below with suggestions about where I should head to. And if you like what you're seeing in my videos, then hit the subscribe button. Um, ciao for now.